Greetings! It is Fen playing, not written in stone, but the elixir, which apparently written in stone is like sort of a sequel-ish, maybe sort of, so I don't know. I always play this one first. Sir Barrington, as he likes to be known, enjoys the prestigious reputation of having lavish yet intimate dinner parties. I've heard the tales about what goes on in the noble's dining room, but I believe none of them, till now. Orbeck, a local shopkeep who makes special deliveries to people of high stature, heard Sir Henry Hubelo raving about Sir Barrington's special elixir. It cures your ails and gives you vigor. By the hammer, it extends your very life, he exclaimed. Orbeck backed Sir Henry for a small sample, and after one sip he was sure that the potion was nothing more than mineral water and spirit. He asked Sir Henry if other folks were as fond of the elixir as he was, and found out that folks are paying handsomely for these small vials on a weekly basis. Some lords pay for exclusive treatments and bathe in the tonic. Lord Barrington even brings in an occult expert every month, where supposedly the power of the elixir is renewed by the full moon. Never one to pass up the opportunity for a good scam, Orbeck has decided to take a cut of this elixir business. He has made an elixir of his own, but needs to convince Sir Henry that it's really the same as the magical tonic that Lord Barrington has been selling. And that's where I come in. It's rumored that Sir Baddington's most prized possession is a painting of the revolutionary inventor Guillermo de Sojas, the day after he won the Battle of Billenstuhl. If I can steal this painting, Orbeck can use it to prove that he also got the elixir from Sir Baddington. Once Sir Henry tells all his friends that Orbeck's stolen elixir is healing his heart, soothing his pains and igniting his libido, they'll be lining up at his shop. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Am I? No knocking anyone. Out. No more than two. Oh my God! I want to knock people out. God, making me play on easy. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's just play good, since this is probably a small mission. Let's play in no knockout mode. Well, oh, nice picture there. Yes. And uh, and no, and not knock out anyone. Not even. Not even this gate lock when it won't do what I tell it. Yeah, there we go. And not even that rat. Oh, I don't even have a blackjack on this mode, so there you go. Well, no rope arrows neither. So I'm afraid this is going to be a rope arrowless contraption. Whoa, what's the. Oh. Yeah, so. Uh, FMs keep saying... Oh, it's so mechanical. FMs keep saying, you better not use a low-end system. I'm like, I think a 1070 is low-end these days, but maybe they mean a Radeon 9600 XT. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. So if there's if there's no ropes... Oh, the mantle's all good and reliable. Ah, ha, ha. What? Stand up. S stand up! Oh, you can't because there's a flower pot. I don't know. It feels like there could be something worth. Hello, it's a ladder. Amazing. Except you can't really jump off of it for some. Okay, there we go. There we go. That. Uh, what? 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 What am I doing? Nope, nope. I'm getting up here if it's the last thing I do. God damn it, dude! Come on. Nope, nope. This, this. I'm just completely stalling out here. Into whoa. Thought I saw a face in the window. What? What is this for, anyways? Oh, there we go. Oh, so even though we don't have rope arrows, we do have some thieves' highway action going on. Okay, okay. Very nice. Just like Iris. This mission is just like Iris. It's nice of my old friend to let me crash in his attic. I don't know what I would do if I had to sleep on the streets. Ever since I lost my job maintaining the local substation, times have been tough. And hard. Bloody technology replacing people, it's not right. Well, I have this little place to call my own for the time being. I just wish I could get a decent night's sleep, but with the hum of the pylon and the noise from the water tank. I can't even 
go down. I can't even crouch. What is with this? I okay, I'm technically crouching. I guess I'm just always crouched. Okay, what? Not even a coin? I guess this guy just doesn't even have a coin. He's broke and crashing. You should stop eating that mandrasola. You're supposed to smoke it. Eat crack and smoke mandrasola. God, people. If only you would just get it right, none of this would have to happen. Whoa, what? Okay, that started... That started being lit up. So, so, the lighting doesn't exist when the source of the light is out of view? <laughs> That's not really how lighting works. Okay. Uh, that was something. Sorry, I was just fiddling some settings I thought I had fiddled before. Oh, 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 oh there we go. Yeah, well, we're still running extremely well, so I don't know what the deal with that. You, Oh man, I'm trying to wear my goggles, but I don't have any. It's not like the goggles do nothing, it's the goggles are nothing, and wearing them does nothing because they don't exist. It's not necessarily as catchy, though, so that's why you don't hear anyone saying it. Finally, chairs you can actually move. Wow, or in theory, anyway. Excuse me? <laughs> there we go. Maybe we can burn it on the fire for more w warmth. Not light, though. The moon is good for that. The... To the Blueberry Tavern landlord, while I do partake in beverages in your fine establishment from time to time, I do not appreciate having to listen to music being played at all hours. I would remind you of the city bylaws that prohibit loud or unsociable noise after the last bell before midnight. Kind regards, Mr. H. Smythe. Oh, I somehow... Why can't I pick this up? Something's weird with the frobbing. It doesn't let you pick the candle up, even. All right, well, sure. Ooh. Man, I th I didn't know this was going to be a rooftop. But dude, what? Is there a setting to, like, stop that happening? Because that's really stupid. Like, it's only when you see the light in your view that it actually exists anywhere? I mean, really? So I don't know if you need to restart to change those settings or what, but I mean... Oh, looks like I ch one of the settings I changed fixed that. Okay, I don't know. Well, whatever. Whoa. Uh, nothing, nothing. Everything's fine. Oh. Okay, I, I assume I'm getting somewhere here and that I won't have to just fall down into the street with this scum whom I'm not able to knock out. Oh, god damn it. Whoa, whoa. Loading is fast. Oof. Oh my god, really? That's crazy. I hope there's something over there or here or like there or something, because I'm kind of just making myself extremely unscarce. Oof. Damn it. Damn it. Ugh. How do you know what time of year it is? You just spawned into a bit of geometry and you think you know what time of year- Are these dream pipes always climbable or just if the mission says so? That's something I don't actually know. Okay, well why- Why is this stuff even around? If it's just to troll you into going, Lol, I think I'm going somewhere but not. Is that a void glimpse? I want to glimpse the void. God damn it. So unless I'm just blind, I guess you don't get to wherever you're going via the roof. How tortuous. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute, though. It's not really looking good, either. Okay, everyone's definitely hearing me now. And that's not somewhere you want to be. I don't know. These boards are sort of odd in the way they're placed. I guess you're supposed to just go down here. Whoa. Whoa. I could have sworn I heard something. <sighs> oh, I can't knock him out either. Wait, where's the guy? It's not here? I guess they're both over there. Let's just keep at it. Keep at it till we practice and become an expert. And then we'll be like confident, confident in our skills. I know, that's how it goes. Wait, I mean, there's more of these things? Or were those just the original things? Oh, 
Come on, really? So, I am supposed to go on the roof? Or am I not? Not necessarily 100% clear at all times. I don't know about this, man. I don't know if I... <laughs> like, it almost seems like maybe I could get out. It seems like a way down. Hello. Okay. Dude, why do I hear a guy from literally straight over here, but then there's nobody? What the hell? Okay, dude, is any- okay, that's a door. Gotcha. Okay, why- is my audio- is my stereo reversed? There's nobody here. The victim of Doc's to Doty Pole. Whoa. Like, I thought I was comically misreading that, but it actually says, except with the addition of one R after Tor, it literally says, Doty Pole. <laughs> Incredible. Hello, pointless street. You suck. Alright, you. Oh, wow. That's because this is expert. Also, the AI acuity, I would hope the settings didn't just reset themselves for some reason. No, not really. Good, well, there's that at least. So you're telling me I can't even get over here without... Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, he's gonna walk all the way back, is he? Come on, don't be a jerk face. You wanna jerk some other part of you, not your face. That won't really be very effective, most probably. Oh, no, he's not, okay. Well, there may be another door, but... Whoa. Evening. Yes, evening. I don't know. I'm wanted on the streets, but over here... Quiet, huh? I'm just yep. a... Just a customer. And they don't even care about me yoinking their shit. Bugger. Uh -huh. Bugger. Yes. Come on. Oh my god. No, he's just like passive-aggressively hemming me in. Because I stole his shit. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? The mantle is so great. <laughs> it even mantles you up there. What the hell? Okay, well, sadly... Yes, greetings. Sadly, it looks like this ain't gonna be... The thing. <sighs> Alright. Hmm. Oh, fine. You! Over there, now! That's a very pretty window. Over. Oh my god. If only I could see out of them. Come on now. Everyone gone? No. You're exactly the opposite. Oh my god. Seriously? Trapped in here and I can't even look? I don't know if we have the listening mechanic in this game. Oh, I guess we do. Incroyable. Maybe at least I thought what I thought I was hearing. Okay, you guys, honestly, get the hell out of here, you both. And you. Look, I'm just a suspicious, ordinary citizen traipsing the streets. Nothing's wrong. Maybe they got purses, probably not. Hey, who knows? God, at least one of these freaking things works. Right. Too bad I can't pick it back to locked. That would be fun if you could, like, if you have a, a a lock lock pick, like a you pick the door back to a lock state. You know what I'm trying to say? Okay. Well, so I thought I was gonna go on the thieves' highway into the place, but apparently not. Or maybe there is some way I'm just blind. That's also always very possible. Okay. No, I don't got, got no keys. Skilled operator. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, guys! Ooh. Okay, so I could go in there. However, I could also hang from the clothesline. Like a monkey! Really? This is just like, hello, you want to chill on the roof? Well, you can chill on the roof. Did I hear the giggling of a baby or something? 
I am really hearing things now. Dang it. There is a baby. Sheesh. Well, I hope the baby's okay. <laughs> my my take care of a dying baby instinct is kicking in or whatever you want to say. You know? <laughs> I'm just like, uh -huh. yeah, I better just leave so I can't hear the baby anymore. So that'll, oh, wait. Or I could fix their suffering. No, I just don't want to hear it anymore. Whatever. Let's go inside. Uh -huh. Okay, so I guess these are s special candles that just get snuffed and you can't pick them up for your convenience and pleasure, possibly. <laughs> Nothing? Well, I should be able to just get in here, get this stuff, and get out. And what is my little goal? 750. Yeah, that's... That's a sign the mission's probably short. Oh my god, what? I need a key. Crap, damn it. Crap, damn it. What? You went over here, though? What's that sound? Shit. Is he gonna come in here? Turn the candle off, please. Let me turn it off. Snuff it, whatever. Put it into powder form and snuff it. That's the more gentlemanly version of snort. Snuff. Snuff. Like Sesame Street. Snuff. 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 <laughs> oh, that's his lady wife. Okay. Oh, there's mirrors in this engine. What the hell kind of witchery is this? Lady Barrington's diary. Crap. Well, I think... Okay, I hear footsteps out there. What the hell's going on? Does this guy come into the bathroom? Because if he does, I am sort of screwed. Oh, you can't even close the door. Damn it. Tenth of winter filleth. Lady Graceline always interrupts or speaks out of turn. I don't know where she's from, but I'm certain my headmistress at finishing school would have wrapped my fingers raw if I dared half as much as she. On measure, it's good to have someone like her around for parties. The guests can always go wild and then just claim they weren't acting out as much as Lady Graceline. Still, I wonder if she's going to be bad for business when we start inviting more high-status nobles. 17th of Winterfilleth. Outrageous, that Emily Dorrance is. Thinks it's funny to upstage me in my own house. When I find out who told her I'll, I'd be wearing a yellow gown, I'll strangle them with Emily's fake pearl mustache. Not that... When I find out who told me I'd be wearing a yellow gown, I'll strangle them with Emily's fake pearl necklace. Not that he was all that bad about it, but I think I'll give my beau a cool greeting this evening to let him know not to encourage her again. Lady Dorrance is... Humph. 18th of winter, fellas. These dinners are getting out of hand. Seven courses? There's barely any time for parlor games or elixir rituals in the garden by the time we're done. Not that it bothers my husband. He'll keep going to dawn if his schedule keeps up the way it's been. I wish the cook would just serve me the pork like everyone else. I always feel so self-conscious when the cook brings me a completely different meal. I'm going to throw a fit if I see another servant or cook scurry to hide their food preparation from me once again. Why shouldn't I be able to inspect the food? I was a skilled cook before I met my husband. 25th of Winter Filleth. That Mr. Bowler's, I don't feel safe around that man. His cold, dead eyes that smile only when he looks like the cat who swallowed the bird. The way he drones his chants with an almost angry tone. <laughs> He keeps bringing his magic tomes to the house and inviting low-brow, unsavory, armored goons as his party companions. I completely distrust the man. He keeps stealing away my husband to the parlor for secret meetings. <laughs> I will have to remind that cur that anything he needs to say to my husband, he can say to me. 26th of Winter Filleth. Now I must say that Lord Denny... Ampshirin has almost stolen my heart. What a gracious man and what wonderful gifts. If I dare say, he's so handsome that I might consider stealing a peck on the cheek. That wine he brought from west of Bridgeport was exquisite. I've never tasted any wine quite like it. Of course, it would be in lavish bottles so fine I may have to consider putting them under lock and key. Our house guard is a bit too fond of the wine, so I'd better not catch him helping himself. Such a shame that Lord Denny is off again to the trading routes. I'm guessing he thinks he got a bargain trading some of that wine for elixir. Ha! Second of blot. I shan't sleep a wink tonight. That ritual was far too strange. That poor girl and her seizure at the end almost had me running down the street. 
Of course, that creepy old Mr. Bowlers couldn't stop from smirking or laughing the darker things got. Even his goons were a little freaked out by it all. So you mean the elixir is like real? Similar to real? Wow. Have I ever seen a mirror in the dark? Oh, she's got dewdrop. That is just so cute. I can't even try it. Well, looks like I can't frob it anyway, but... If I could, whoa. If I could, I wouldn't. Another one out. Why are we using open flames in here anyway? Because he's probably a better snuggler than her husband. <coughs> uh. Eh. Nice hand veins. Eh. Nobody. I don't have anything to light it with. Nobody here. Nobody here. Feel like there's no more fear. I want to stay like this for a year. Feel like there's nobody here. Wave! Thank you. Gonna have the leave part. That's the climax of the song, you know? He won't leave without a climax. And that's, this is a safe key, not necessarily an attic key. I guess. So that's sort of weird, but... Whatever. There's two? Where did you come from? What? There is not room for that guy. He literally just appeared. And he's walking in circles, because obviously. The AI is still kind of broken sometimes, honestly. After all the improvements they've made to it, I know, but, you know, I... Sometimes they just walk in circles. Well, that's an old shape. Huh? Mm. Steady on the left. Steady on the right. You. Come on. <coughs> like, what the hell do you want me to do about this guy? I'm not allowed to kill or knock out? Is that fair? I mean... Do I have to restart the damn mission now? Because this idiot is just spinning like a moron. Alright, you dog. The sooner I kill you, the sooner I can eat. Is this fucking fair? See, now I have to do this idiot thing and, like, maybe possibly distract people and get that idiot off his route. Ah! Mm. God. So the lube? You take him from the left. This is fucked. Huh? Aha, I've got you. What is your problem? Why did that guy just spawn? There's nowhere for him to have come from. What are you fuck faces? Not like the ability to knock someone out would really have helped here. I don't even think. What? Hmm. All right, let's get this over with. So I have some limited time to like. So you're drunk too? All right, let's get this over with. Like the only way to pull you off your route is to just fuck. Well, that's a little shit. What? What is this safe key? There's no safe here anyway. There's like a stupid attic thing. This is so fucking idiotic. And that guy's got a key, which I'm gonna need. Like, get off your route, you fucking blind moron! Dude, just going around in a circle. Don't you fucking understand the concept of AI? Don't you understand intelligence part of the artificial? Dude. Yeah, now I have to come back ten years later. And how did he get in there at a Why? No. There's still that problem where you you put the light out of your view and then the light doesn't fall on the window. How does that even function? And where am I supposed to go now? I mean, unless you call a door a safe, I don't see... <sighs> I have no idea what the hell's supposed to be going on here. Okay, you can't climb that pipe.
That guy's clearly got the key to the attic. He has to. So I just sit here and wait for ten years? This is ridiculous. I mean, that's, that's the best I can do. Ridiculous. You saw me try. I tried to play good. Okay, that's a lantern. What the hell's up here? A window out? There better be some other chest or something. Oh. That's not a safe either. Finally. No elixir. So, what's the key to the door down there, or is there some other way I'm supposed to take? I don't have any idea what the hell is supposed to be happening here. But I mean, I guess there's nothing else up here. So if I just run out the window, I guess I'm fine as far as that goes. I guess. Unless there's something up here. I don't know, you guys. This doesn't really make any sense. I guess this is the house. Oh, I can't go out the window now? It's, this game hates me. Chicky Bombas has escaped to Bumbo. What do you... How does the game actually expect me to, to get out of here? Like... If this guy's supposed to actually just be standing at the window, blocking it, and this difficulty doesn't give me a blackjack, I have no fucking idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do! Like, fuck, I'm just not even gonna fucking play this. I'm gonna play the other one, whether I should play this to understand the fucking story or not. Could you move from the goddamn window? What's the point? You can't- what? Okay, he's not supposed to, he's just doing it by happenstance. Fair enough. But then where do I go, though? I don't have any key for this still. Uh, uh, like, I can see these, but I can't get down into them. Is this openable? about this? No, no, no. That's definitely not. What? The goddamn shit. You mean there's a door here? So that's where he came from. Of course, I saw this before. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Oh my god. Like this. I just can't right now.